All right, so let's talk about the AK-74U in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So I'm sure you guys have all seen by now that there's these, quote, secret gun variants in the gunsmith customization here. Basically, if you equip certain attachments, it can change the appearance and the characteristics of a weapon. Now, most YouTubers I've seen do this simply show you how to make the gun and they don't tell you anything more. They don't tell you the new stats. They don't tell you anything about the weapon. And in fact, most of them don't even have the attachments in the real game. And what I mean by that is if you go to a custom match, you get all the attachments so you can make the gun, but you don't really get to use it in a public match. Now, as you can see, I have leveled up the AK-47 to level 68. That is maximum level. So everything I'm about to tell you is from personal experience. I've used this AK-74U for about two days now, and I've got my opinion and review firmly down pat. So first of all, let me show you how to make it. So this is what the AK-47 looks like, obviously, and it will take some grinding because you need some high level attachments to get the AK-74U. So first up, come over here to the barrel, and we're going to go down to the 8.1 compact barrel. So as you can see on the right, as I cycle through these barrels, it shortens it tremendously with the compact barrel. And this will give you an aim down sight speed boost, a movement speed boost, and a decrease to your bullet velocity and your recoil control. But I'll talk about that more in just a bit. Next up, you have to come over here to stock, and there's one called the skeleton stock. And this says ultralight stock speeds up weapon handling and movement at the expense of aiming stability. Now, last but not least, if you come down to ammunition, and this says conversion kit to use lower caliber ammunition, shorter range, faster fire rate, and less recoil to dominate close quarters engagements. So there you go. That is the AK-74U. Now, you do have two more attachments you can use, but we'll talk about that in just a minute. These are the only three attachments you actually need to transform it to this SMG hybrid. Now, I personally use this weapon in Black Ops 1 all the time. And in that game, it was a high damage SMG. But in this game, it's a little different. So let's go ahead and talk some stats about this. But first, as a comparison, I need to tell you about the AK-47. The default AK-47 does 42 damage to the body. More importantly, the headshot damage is 56. So that obviously makes it a three-shot kill to the body and a two-shot kill to the head. Now the magazine size is only 30 and it fires at 560 RPMs. And this makes it one of the slowest firing assault rifles in the game. As for time to kill to the body, it has a 0.214 time to kill. That's not the best, but it's not the worst either. It's kind of mediocre. Now with a headshot, it's got a 0.107 time to kill. And this is actually one of the best in the assault rifle category. Now, of course, with the AK-74U, we have to use special rounds. And unfortunately, this changes the weapon dramatically. So the body damage goes from 42 all the way down to 26. And this is what I was talking about, because in Black Ops 1, the damage was 35. So this is a substantial decrease in damage. It's only 26 to the body. Now, it does get a bit of help from the headshot multiplier, and it'll do 42 damage to the head. Unfortunately, though, this makes it a four-shot kill to the body and a three-shot kill to the head. The magazine remains the same at 30, but the fire rate has increased from 560 all the way up to 660. The body time to kill is now 0.273, whereas with the AK-47, it was 0.214. The headshot is 0.182, is way up from the 0.107 from the normal AK-47. So like I said, there is a noticeable decrease in almost all the stats except for fire rate when you put these rounds on. So you may be thinking, why would anyone do this? Why would you want to turn a really powerful assault rifle into a mediocre SMG assault rifle hybrid? And it's really all about personal preference. If you love SMGs in this game and you're confident in your ability to use SMGs in this game, you're going to love this weapon. Some of the drawbacks to the AK-47 are extremely slow ADS times, lots of recoil, and with certain attachments, really slow movement speed. Now with the AK-74U, it's basically the opposite of that, as you would expect from an SMG. Most of the variants you equip that make it into this new weapon increase your movement speed as well as your ADS speed. Now the problem here, in my opinion, is that the maps really aren't designed for SMGs in this game. 
Sure, you can go on Twitch or YouTube and see some really, really skilled players using SMGs and just dominate the crap out of every single person they encounter. But for the average Joe like you and me, using an SMG in this game is a death sentence. So like I said, I've used this weapon for over two days of in-game playtime now, and I much prefer the normal AK-47. And let me tell you why. The entire point of this SMG hybrid is to get in close quarters combat situations. And what's the current meta in Modern Warfare? Shotguns. So the issue is you're trying to get in barrel stuffing range and you're undoubtedly gonna encounter someone using the 725 shotgun. And in that battle, you're gonna lose nine out of 10 times because all it takes is one quick pull of the trigger and you're dead. Whereas with the AK-47, you can stay at that mid to long range combat and reign supreme, especially with that two shot kill to the head. But like I also mentioned, if you're confident in your SMG capabilities, you're gonna love this weapon. You'll definitely notice the quick ADS speeds, the quick movement speeds, everything SMG related is now put on this assault rifle. And not to mention you also get assault rifle achievements. It doesn't count as an SMG, it's still the assault rifle. Now another issue here is that with the AK-47, it has a ton of recoil, but there's attachments that can reduce this dramatically. With the AK-74U here, however, you want to capitalize on the quick ADS speed. So as I mentioned in the beginning, you only need to use three attachments to make this variant. That means you can use the other two however you want. Now, while it is possible to reduce the recoil by using these two attachments, you probably don't want to do that. You're not going to be in mid to long range combat with an SMG hybrid like this. Chances are most people are going to capitalize on the quick ADS and use something that will lower that even further or increase your movement speed even further. And unfortunately, this makes the recoil almost unbearable at medium to long range. So it's really up to how to use these two extra attachments that will make or break how bad or how good your recoil is gonna be. But like I said, I don't know, you should be focusing on the close quarters aspect of this weapon and capitalizing on that rather than making your recoil less because you shouldn't be in those medium to long range combat lines of sight to begin with. Now if you're concerned about the recoil, let me just show you the best attachments for the AK-74U to decrease the recoil. Remember, you can only pick two additional attachments. So first, here's the default AK-47, no attachments whatsoever. This is the recoil. It's pretty much straight vertical and a little bit of variation there. It swivels from left to right and straight up. Now here's the default AK-74U. There's no attachments other than the three required to make it this variant. So here we go. As you can see, it's more or less just straight vertical this time. Now if we put the compensator on, this is a muzzle attachment. This would be one of the two extra ones we can use. Let's take a look and see how that changes the recoil. Definitely a great reduction of recoil. It's still vertical, but every bullet is closer together, more compact, which makes it easily more manageable. Now the real question here is, what do you want to pair the compensator with? You have a few options. There's the Merc foregrip, the Operator foregrip, and then there's the Ranger foregrip. Now in addition, the rubberized grip tape also reduces recoil. So we're going to find out which is the best attachment to pair with the compensator. So this is the compensator and the Merc foregrip. You can see that's even more reduced recoil. Much, much more easy to maintain and control. Now we'll try with the operator foregrip as well as the compensator. So this one is basically the same. You can see it reaches about the same height. It's almost the same spread. There's not much difference between these two. Now let's try the Ranger foregrip. Once again, it's pretty much the same. All three of those seem to act relatively close to each other. Okay, so now let's take off the underbarrel. We'll try the compensator with the rubberized grip tape. Let's see if this does any better than those three. So this one was actually worse than these three. So in my opinion, I would not use the rubberized grip tape at all. I would stick with the compensator and one of the three under barrel attachments. Just for comparison, let's take off the compensator and just put one of the three under barrel attachments on and let's see how that performs. So as you can see, without that compensator, it gets extremely worse. That's almost to the default 
recoil pad in there. So basically, to sum this up, if you want to reduce the recoil with this SMG assault rifle hybrid, your best bet is to equip the compensator, which is a muzzle, and then one of the underbarrel recoil reduction attachments. Again, all three of them perform pretty much the same, as you can see here. There's not much difference between any of the three there. Now, unfortunately, like I said, all three of these underbarrels do decrease your ADS speed. And again, that's kind of counter to what we want with this hybrid. However, this is just for the recoil reduction. So if you want less recoil, this is the way to go. So if you want a hip fire, go with the Merc foregrip. If you want less sway, go with the Ranger foregrip. If you just want the sole recoil reduction and no other penalties other than the slower ADS, go with the Operator. But regardless which of the three you pick, your ADS speed is going to decrease just a bit. Now that was for recoil reduction. If you want to use your two attachment slots to promote the SMG capabilities, then I highly recommend the 5 MW laser because this increases your sprint to fire speed. That's your sprint out time, which is very, very beneficial. Now the drawback is you can see this stupid green laser from halfway across the map. And if you're camping in a corner, then they're going to see you 99% of the time because of that laser. And in addition, I recommend this grip tape right here because it does the same thing. It increases your ADS speed as well as your sprint out speed. So if you want to make this the best SMG hybrid it can be, use this grip tape as well as the 5MW laser. If you're not a fan of that green laser exposing you, then you could probably use a perk. There's tons of perks that would help you out. And in particular, I would say slide of hand or fully loaded. So the question remains, is it worth transforming the AK-47 into this SMG assault rifle hybrid? And again, it's totally dependent on you as the user. I, for one, am terrible with SMGs in this game. Absolutely terrible. I would much rather capitalize on the strengths of the AK-47 in the medium to long range combat with that great time to kill and the extreme damage it can do rather than turn it into an SMG hybrid and run around like a chicken with its head cut off getting blasted by shotgun users. Now with that said, I did have a few successful games with this. I play free for all mainly and it was easier in free for all to use this weapon as opposed to a 6v6 or a 10v10 or even ground war. But if you're great at the game, you're going to excel with this weapon no matter what. But you will notice that decreased damage, that decreased time to kill, and the decreased damage per second. If you don't like assault rifles in this game, and you much prefer using SMGs, then by all means, transform it into this weaker weapon that's basically an assault rifle SMG hybrid. However, I think a majority of people will find this weapon pretty much useless due to that damage reduction. But I highly recommend at least trying it out first. I can't tell you how many times I've used this though in close quarters combat and it feels like I'm hitting my enemies five plus times and they're just simply not dying. Not to mention you'll find those medium to long range engagements incredibly annoying. With the normal AK-47 you could have instantly smoked them. With this hybrid you're going to have a hard time hitting them from that range even with the recoil reduction if you go that route. So overall I would say I would rate this gun a 4 out of 10 whereas the AK-47 I would rate it as an 8 out of 10. That's my personal preference. Like I said, if you're good with the SMGs, you should be good with this one as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I think I was thorough enough with all the attachments and all the stats that you should have a good understanding of how this weapon will perform. And that, as they say, is that.